Okay. So, the one um, video I uploaded this morning, well, not this, well, not even that morning, but like as of recording to this, yesterday morning, um, I wasn't really pleased about it. Like, like I was listening to it, but I was taking care of something on my phone. This time, I'm going to pay attention to it. My apologies for, for those who, you know, got caught off guard because I wasn't re um, saying much about it. I was trying to listen. But uh, this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. Since, because of the fact that um, a few people had uh, told me about this, uh, I'm going to do uh, something different because we've been doing the Explorer series for a while now. Now I'm going to do um, something else. And I believe these sets of SCP videos are by the, Vol uh, the Vulgan um, object class. I um, first got into this when I was, you know, reading up on this, like the, like the object class and, you know, scenarios and different interviews and whatnot so since i looked up this specific number scp uh 231 this popped up and i was like well why not let's, let's just let's have a look at that one because I, I don't i don't think i've even seen this yet so yeah hello hold on there we go Okay, so this is about the Okay, okay. I remember. I remember this one. But I'm, we're still going to go through it. We're still going to go through it. I do remember this. I was interested in this. Thank God somebody told me about it and uh, reminded me about it again. We're going to be studying today is SCP-231. They gather round the middle bed, foolish and wise. They fear the child yet to be born, whose voice shall rend the skies. Mm. Object class, Keta. The faithful watch the forest for the coming of the king. Their lanterns bright, they wait at night for the new world he shall bring. Sight and personnel requirements. Under special order of O5, the following addendum is attached to the beginning of the file for SCP-231-7. The dragon waits in shadows. His breath will scorch the land. The hero in the castle draws his sword and makes his stand. All personnel assigned to SCP-231-7 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Damn. SCP-231-7 is to be kept at an undisclosed location. All personnel assigned to SCP-231 will be transported there blindfolded from Site-19 by a route including no fewer than seven different forms of transportation. Wow. So, they're really taking extreme measures with this one. You have to be blindfolded in order for you to even go through with this. Even if, if, if she, I don't think you even have a choice uh, when it comes to that. Because with this, with, with this foundation, they just... They choose you. You don't. You don't choose like the the job. They they choose you for it. Like there is no like, oh well, you you need to choose this and whatnot. No 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 no, not at all, not at all. Why is this pen? Never mind. Including but not limited to aircraft, automobile, underground tunnel, and removal of blindfold during the transport process is grounds for immediate termination. The princess in the tower is hidden far away, but nothing under heaven can keep the groom at bay. Mm. Personnel assigned to SCP-231-7 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. Wow! All psychological screening procedures against Axis 2 disorders are waived. So long. So you have to have no life at all. You have to have no... Well, that's basically me. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, that was a joke. Um. Damn, you, you, you can't have nobody. You have nothing. 
your 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 devotion is only to the foundation. That's that's tough, dude. That that's really tough. But you know, the way this SBC is talking, Scarlet King, he sounds more like the devil. Like the drag, he, all these quotes about the dragon and whatnot. Like it, it fits, you know. Like I, I, I wouldn't be, you know, too uh, surprised at all. Was the class D personnel in question has the mental capacity to carry out Procedure One Ten on talk as needed. Personnel who express sympathy towards SCP-2317's plight and or express a desire to rescue or sympathize towards SCP-2317 will be transferred to another project without delay. Wow. Any actual rescue attempts will be met with immediate termination. Personnel who have served on the staff of SCP-2317's containment team are not required to divulge information to others. No official record shall be kept of the names of any staff assigned to SCP-2317, nor will said service appear in the personnel files of said staff. So how the fuck do you document it? If, hold on, if there are no, if there are no files, no official record, they're keeping it under wraps, that's why. They, 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 they just keep it under wraps, not that they don't have it, they just, they're not sharing it, they're not sharing any information. Whatsoever, you can't even have sympathy for, for for this damn thing. Yep, this is the devil, or at least the mythology of the devil. At least. They gather round with leering smiles, the soulless and the dead. Though the soul unwinds, the cruelest minds will keep her in her bed. While on site, individuals assigned to 2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changes to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. Damn. Six D-Class personnel are to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 110 mock talk. Violent criminals are not to be used for this purpose due to the possibility of accidental fatality during the 110 mock talk process. Okay. Special containment procedures. Following repeated escape and suicide attempts, and based on the failure of containment for SCP-231-1 through 6, containment of SCP-2317 has been amended to the following. SCP-231 is to be contained within a soundproof holding cell, adjacent to holding cells for 6 Class D personnel assigned for the purposes of Procedure 110 Montauk. Cameras will monitor every inch of the cell at all times, and must be manned 24 hours a day. Malfunctioning monitoring equipment will be replaced without delay by psychologically screened staff. Doors will be magnetically locked, openable only by positive action by the control and monitoring facility. This includes all doors linking the main holding cell to those of six Class D personnel. SCP-2317 is to be kept restrained to a hospital bed at all times, except for the purposes of Procedure 110 Montauk. Hydration will be provided through IV drip. Feeding will be carried out twice a day through feeding tube approved by medical personnel who have not taken the Hippocratic Oath. Oh my god. Under no circumstances are narcotics, anesthesia, or other unapproved medications to be administered to SCP-2317. Okay, so, from what I can gather... From what I can gather, that this is, that this is, has to be, this has to be, I, like... It, it's it's SCP-231-7, but for what I can remember, this is, I want to say, the offspring of SCP-231, and they're strapping her, I believe it's a her, uh, to a hospital bed, IVs, um, scheduled feeding, no 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 drugs whatsoever. While she's giving birth. And these. Chosen six. D class. Or I want to say. Aborting. These children. Before anything else happens. Or either that or just trying to prevent them from being born. Let's keep going. The porter told his apprentice to prepare him seven jars. Six he made with grace and skill. The last his hands did mar. 
Procedure 110 Montauk is to be carried out at least once every 24 hours by Class D personnel. Oh, Jesus! During Procedure 110 Montauk, at least one security clearance for 231 staff member must monitor the procedure by camera at all times. Although the sound may be turned off if the vocalizations of SCP-2317 become too distressing. Following the procedure... All so they, to, they, 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 they are like, even if she screams, she screams in pain and agony. They'll just turn it off. That's hell, dude. That's really hell. All Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. Damn! They got explosive collars on the on the D class? I'm sorry for pausing and starting, but like that you know how fucked up that is? Like the, I, I was saying in the beginning of this, they have no fucking choice. At all. Gone. It's morning black. In their dreams its face is prowling. Come to take them back. Data expunged per order of all time redacted unredacted. Information moved to high zone document 231-110 Monoc. Access to 231-110 Monoc is limited to personnel with security clearance 4 slash 231. Description. SCP-231-7 is a female between 10 years of age. I fucking knew it. I knew it. It was too clear. It was it was too obvious. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Continue. The king is in his court. Between the brides are in their beds. I swear to God, if if it if that was said 15 between 18 years of age, I swear to God. Or 15 between 20 or 20s. Following a police raid on a warehouse owned by an organization called the Children of the Scarlet King. I knew it. Knew See it. Article in the newspaper, <sighs> police raid, satanic sex cult, save seven. 24 hours after the rescue, SCP-231-1, real name, went into labor pains, giving birth three minutes later to SCP, causing a th event resulting in confirmed casualties. Foundation personnel immediately took possession of remaining SCPs 231-2 through to 231-7 and based on notebooks recovered from the cult instituted Okay, so the original SCP-231 gave birth to one at, at the like all of them like one through seven like they gave birth to seven children like like how this uh scar like, like how this demonic voice is saying gave birth to seven kids out of seven of them, two, like at least six of them survived. The the foundation took them, and I I want to say all of them except for seven died. And now seven is giving birth. Procedure one ten Montauk to prevent future occurrences. Yeah, they're trying to prevent pregnancies. The and seven angsted lay, till the fox crept in by dark of night, and stole the X away. Addendum 231A, current status of SCP-231 units. Six were broken by their bindings, six no more shall sing. Damn! Comes the seventh full unwinding, and all the bells will ring. SCP-231... Six died, one survived. One. Deceased. Killed. During initial recovery operations while giving birth to SCP. See casualty report for event 231 Alpha for more details. Wow. When the first had given birth, then all the birds did sing. Her screaming cries did shake the skies. As she called out for her king. SCP-231-2. Deceased. Killed during attempt to remove fetus of second SCP specimen. Damn! An immediate event. See casualty report for event 231 Bravo for more details. By doctor's blade, the second bay the life into the world. 
on tiny hewn in a silent moon, the king's red flag unfurled. SCP-2313, deceased, self-terminated. Following a prolonged period of distress caused by implementation of Procedure 110 Montauk. Wow. SCP immediately underwent a gland. See casualty report for event 231, Charlie, for more details. Wow. His bride the third remained unhurt. Her cries for help ignored. She stopped her life with a surgeon's knife and gave it to our Lord. SCP-231-4. Deceased. Attempted to administer SCP-500, although successful in that all traces of SCP were expelled from the system. Expelled remains immediately underwent event. Causing numerous casualties, including SCP-231-4 herself. Wow. See casualty report for event 231 Delta for more details. The fourth prepares a dagger and places it at her heart. The perfect cure cannot make pure, and the king has set apart. SCP-231-5. Deceased. Botched application of Procedure 110 Montauk resulted in SCP-231-5 giving birth to SCP one hour later, which then underwent event. See casualty report for event 231 Echo and report on destruction of site 231 Aleph. For more details, recruitment profile of Class D personnel was revised to minimize possibility of a second botched procedure, 110 Montauk. Well, yeah, because you can't have that. SCP-231-6, deceased, killed, during escape attempt aided and abetted by agent, who had been exhibiting heightened stress levels due to prolonged exposure to SCP-231. Damn. Obtained possession of SCP and attempted to use said weapon to rescue SCP-231-6 and 231-7. Agent was killed in the resulting firefight. But a stray round resulted in the termination of SCP-2316 as well. The features of SCP-2316's SCP then underwent and in the wake of this incident, O5 personnel voted by unanimous decision to amend personnel policies. See casualty report for event 231 Foxtrot for more details. Damn! The walls gave way and the oceans turned to ash. Her birth gave work as the earth shook. SCP-231-7 As of SCP-231-7 is successfully contained at site Seventh bride will break the tides The moon no more will shine There comes a day not far away She'll birth the death of time At end of 231-B This is a recording of a missive by O5 Dear friends it has come to my attention that recently certain rumors have surfaced regarding SCP-231. Due to a drop in staff morale, I have decided to address some of the more prevalent points. Yes, Procedure 110 Montauk is as horrible as you've heard, which is why only Class D personnel are authorized to carry it out. Yes, it does involve brutal. No, this assignment to SCP-231 is not intended to test your loyalty to the Foundation. Your tendencies toward or anything else. No, SCP-231 is not a punishment detail. Yes, there are staff members who have been on SCP-231 and have successfully transferred out by their own request. No, not everyone who's worked on SCP-231 is terminated upon leaving the project. Yes, staff. Ho 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 ho! Are you saying that? There were those who left the project and got killed because of it. So you just off them because in fear that they might tell somebody else that the children of the Scarlet King are coming or, or, or are here. And the seventh one is giving birth to the, I guess, what you want, what, what you want to say, the, the new king or whatever. Is that what's going on? Because if that's the case, then, bro. You're doing a terrible job at it. And then admitting that it's a brutal abortioning, 
a uh, like a, a brutal killing, like a brutal uh, causing of abortions. Like Jesus Christ, y'all, y'all, y'all just have no fucking remorse or emotion for anything like that. None. Members who have been assigned to SCP-231 are allowed to take Class A amnesics before leaving the project if so desired. I bet. Yes, false memories are then implanted. Wow. No, none of the supposed methods for recovering or detecting false memories work. Yes, there are some of you who worked on SCP-231 and don't remember it. Wow. No, we have not given up trying to save SCP-231-7. But research and you trying to save her? You trying to save her? I don't want to hear that. That's a bunch of crap. You put her through the most worst pain and imaginable, and you say you 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 have not given up trying to save her. Get the fuck out of here. In that field must be carried out with the utmost of caution, based on the increased potency of each subsequent event associated with each subsequent SCP specimen. There is a strong possibility that SCP-231-7 event could result in an XK class end of the world scenario. I knew it. This information is corroborated in notebooks recovered from the cultists. See document seven brides, seven seals, SCP-231 adjunct B. I knew it. No, putting the girl out of her misery is not an option. Neither is drugging her. She has to be aware of what is going on for 110 Montauk to work. One final note. The Foundation does many distasteful things in the completion of our mission. But our mission is important enough that the price is one we must pay. Containment of SCP-231 is one of our most dangerous duties. Not because of any direct danger to ourselves. But because of the danger that our resolve will fail. That we will allow ourselves to either let down our guard due to our sympathy for the... Hold on. He didn't say like SCP-682. What is that? I gotta write that down. That's the next thing we're gonna be looking up. SCP. Come on, pen work. Suffering of an innocent, or that we will allow ourselves to become monsters through the performance of monstrous acts. You already are monsters. Just do your jobs. And save the philosophizing for the shrink. Bullshit. Yours sincerely, O5. I heard that shit. I heard that shit. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. He full of shit. Addendum 231C, update. 231-7's emotional response to Procedure 110 Montauk appears to be reduced recently, despite proper execution of said procedure, increasing danger of SCP undergoing a Two options have been proposed. Number one, development of a new containment procedure with higher emotional response than Procedure 110 Montauk. Jesus. Number two, administration of a Class A amnestic to SCP-2317, allowing for a return to base emotional response state. Said memory modification is to be administered during execution of Procedure 110 Montauk to maintain heightened emotional state following memory reset. So they trying to reset this girl's poor memory. They trying to reset and give her fake memories in order for their fucking stupid experiment to work. I'm sick. Please advise. The doctor never tells his god which one he really seeks. Instead, he hides himself away, and quietly he weeps. Doctor, addendum 231D. Decision. Carry out option 2 at the first available opportunity. In a god's own voice, he makes the choice, declaring the third word. In fear and pain, let her remain. Does she be like? Oh, five. Addendum 231E. Aftermath. Option 2 was carried out, 
SCP-231-7's emotional, emotional state returned to 100% efficacy. Dr. Tang subsequently committed suicide due to heightened emotional stress. We'll continue analysis of efficacy of treatment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Addendum 231F, continued analysis of efficacy of treatment. After some analysis, I have determined that it is not necessary to perform memory modification every time Procedure 110 Montauk is carried out. In fact, it is better to delay for some time before re-administering the agent. Analysis of Subject 231-7's emotional response indicates that efficacy of Procedure 110 Montauk seems to peak between the third and fourth performance of the procedure. The dread of anticipation for the event seems to heighten emotional response for a time before familiarity with the procedure begins to lessen the efficacy of the treatment. My recommendation is that Class A anesthetics be administered once a week during Procedure 110 Montauk. The calendar has been modified accordingly. Wow. A memory a fickle thing, the strongest shall endure when her weeping starts to waver and drugs make her mind. Doctor. I'm sick. I'm all the way sick. Like, I don't remember this video, but... Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That just... That was the one video that just set me off the edge. Is that, like... You come off with this, with all this bullshit, this bullshit ass response as to why you're doing what you're doing. And then you go and say that, whisper some shit at the end of it, thinking that nobody heard you. Like, y'all have no idea what y'all doing. And yet you do. Y'all just want to be in control of shit. It's, it's, it's not even a matter of saving lives. Y'all don't save lives at all. You kill more lives than you save. What's the point? You kill more lives than you say, uh, than you save. And for all just to try and stop an XK. Which is bound to happen. Because you can't stop gods, apparently. You can't stop gods from wrecking shit. You can't stop um, yourself from fucking up. So what's even the point? What is even the point? Let me know what y'all think about it down below. I'm sick. I'm just, I'm all the way done. Like, ugh. Ugh. I'm out. Peace.